Hi guys, this is Dr. Melissa Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist as well as the co-founder of Trayminder. Trayminder is an app that I helped to create to help busy clear aligner users to remember to wear and change their aligners so that they can get their best possible smile. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about deep bites. What is a deep bite? Why it may not be good to have a deep bite? And what are some solutions for addressing deep bites? So deep bite is what's called a deep overbite. Uh, most patients think of overbite as overjet. What does that even mean? Well, I have a video on overbite and overjet that can go into detail, but in a nutshell, overjet is when the top teeth are sticking out too far in front of the bottom front teeth. Deep bite is actually the vertical overlap between the top teeth and the bottom teeth. We don't want to have a deep bite because usually that causes the premature wear down of the lower incisors. Lower incisors are the lower front teeth. Why is that? Well, the lower incisors, if they overgrow too much, they are going to be traumatized every time you bite down when you're eating or if you're sleeping and you grind or clench your teeth. Having a deep bite, it exacerbates and it, the, the wear down process of the enamel. And once your enamel of your teeth, they wear down, they don't grow back. And so orthodontists often see that um, in more mature patients, if they have a breaky facial face pattern, it just basically means that your jaw growth pattern is more of a short face. Um, those patients tend to have deep bite. And patients that are brachyfacial with deep bites, you will notice a considerable amount of wear down or shortening of their lower incisors. We don't want to have that happen because number one, you lose enamel, you lose um, surface of your teeth. Number two, that shortens your face height even more. Uh, number three, it can expose, you can completely wear down the enamel and expose the dentin, which is the yellow secondary layer on the inside of your enamel. It can, you can reveal the, the dentin surface and that puts you more at risk for decay, cavities, and things like that. And so orthodontically speaking, it's always good to fix a deep bite. Oftentimes I see patients come in with really nicely aligned teeth, but they have a class two bite or they have a deep bite. And that's when I really have to spend a lot of time educating them on the importance of having a good bite for the long-term prosperity and health of your teeth. Remember that just having nice straight teeth and a poor bite it doesn't give you that long time, long term preservation of your teeth. And remember, your teeth are not just for, you know, pictures or smiling. They serve important purposes in terms of speech and eating. Um, and so, it's important to address deep bites. Okay, so now let's talk about um, how orthodontists correct deep bites. And this is where an in-person consultation with a trained orthodontist is so important. Now, in terms of correcting a deep bite, there are certain things that I take into consideration when I fix a deep bite, right? So in order to correct a deep bite, you basically want to um, intrude your front teeth so that the bite goes from too much overlap to just the right amount of overlap, which is anywhere from about 15, 20% of overlap between the top teeth and the bottom teeth. However, there are many ways of, of fixing a deep bite, right? Do you want to intrude the lower incisors more? Do you want to intrude the upper incisors more? Do you want to intrude 80% and 20% on top? How do you decide how you're going to fix a deep bite? Um, well, here's the important thing. This is where an in-person orthodontic consultation and an exam with a, an experienced orthodontist comes in. Why is that? Because when I'm doing my exam, I'm watching how people talk, how they smile. There is a picture smile and then there is a real smile when or laugh when somebody tells a joke and you really, really laugh. I look and see how much upper gums, 
they are showing. So some people have a you know, very gummy smile. You see a lot of gums showing when they're smiling big, spontaneous smiles. I take note of that because if they have a gummy smile and they have a deep bite, you can bet that I will be intruding the upper incisors. I'll be moving the top teeth up. When the teeth intrude or move up, away um, it also brings the gum tissue up as well too and so i'm going to be able to fix that deep vibe while improving the general aesthetics of that person and reduce their gummy smile if a person doesn't show too much gums on the top that's called inadequate uh, gingival display at smile um, then I'm going to not intrude their upper incisors. I'm going to leave them where they are, and instead I'm going to intrude the lower incisors in order to correct that deep bite. Now, do you see that there are actually nuances in how we treat deep bites? So that's why uh, an in-person live exam is so important. I'll be checking to see if they have a frenum. A frenum is basically a tissue attachment from the inside of the upper lip to the gum tissue. If a patient has a low, thick upper labial frenum, Sometimes that can prevent their lips from going upwards when they smile. And so they, for some patients, they say, well, I don't show enough teeth when I'm smiling. Um, it could be that they have a tissue attachment that is very low and a simple fix might be just to refer them to the periodontist to do a phrenectomy. So um, again, there are lots and lots of reasons why we show more gums or we don't show enough gums. Um, I can do a video on that if you guys want more information on that just leave a comment below uh, but going back to that deep bite so yes we can address deep bites in many many ways in growing children in fact and teens it's even easier to fix a deep bite because as they grow if i extrude or pull their premolars um, up toward each other that is going to be an easy way of uh, fixing a deep bite because as the back teeth grow toward each other, that's going to just naturally open the bite. So that's a little lesson on deep bite. Hopefully you've gained a little more knowledge about uh, what it is and what orthodontists can do in order to uh, address a deep bite. And remember, if you have a deep bite and you are a grinder or a clencher, be sure to wear a night guard because having those grinding clenching habits they really exacerbate their wear down process of your enamel so if you have a deep bite consider getting an orthodontic treatment consultation so that you can get some information on how that can be addressed well i hope this uh, video on deep bites is helpful for you if you like it give it a thumbs up this is dr melissa bailey i'll see you next time bye bye